Hey guys, uh, so glad to have you guys back on the channel. Uh, hopefully you guys can see what we're gonna do today. Uh, just, just to give you guys a little bit of background, we started this channel so you guys could have a little bit of an experience in the missionary field. Um, not every missionary looks the same. I think a lot of them all have their own unique uh, perspective on what every uh, missionary looks like. And I think for me, this is what kind of what it looks like for me here down here in Honduras. For me, this is how my day is starting now. So follow along. Last year, we had a missions trip come out here and build a wall all the way around the soccer court, which is going to be a multi-use court. And this is at our retreat center in Honduras. And uh, we basically have camps and things like that that come every year. And this is something we want to kind of fix because right now it's it, it works pretty good but there's still uh, I can't tell you how many times we lose balls when we get when we kick them over you know there's a razor wire fence back there just for extra security and uh, not that we don't love our neighbors or anything but you know we always have this kind of security in Honduras uh, you can see there's a razor wire that runs all through there and oftentimes the ball gets kicked and it gets just wailed into the uh, the fence over there or it gets over in the neighbor's yard and it messes up their roof so uh, or it gets lost uh, so this is like one of those things where you have to just bite the bullet you know and and weld a whole bunch of pipes and put some netting around it so that we don't have to worry so much about the ball escaping this soccer court um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you kind of maybe like a, a small tour of what it is we're going to be doing. We got some funds from a church in Bentonville, Arkansas. You guys might know of them, uh, Bentonville Church of Christ in Arkansas. They basically gave us about $3,000 to buy all the pipes and put up a netting system. And then on this side, if there's anything left over, um, we're going to, well, there will be plenty left over, but we don't know how far along that is gonna be able to get us uh, on this side. We're gonna build sort of an amphitheater seating area on this side, because remember it is mainly for camps and retreats and Saturday night soccer. There's a whole whole, bit, whole list of benefits that will uh, be good for having all of this amphitheater space and the netting. Uh, but let me remind you, this is not just a soccer court. It's gonna be a volleyball court down the middle. It's gonna be used for games and all sorts of things like that for camps. Also, we're gonna have basketball goals set up on the ends that'll expand up and, you know, just like you would have a basketball court. So it's gonna be a very good multi-purpose court. You could also have a preacher standing right here, preaching and talking to everybody that's gonna be on the, the seating area right here. So as you can see, there's really not much you can see at this point because we've got a lot to do before you can really get a good visual of what this is gonna look like. But I got these guys, I'll let them know what the plan is and they are helping me clear everything out. Uh, this is really just straight rock, so it's not super easy to, uh, to deal with. So it's gonna take a little bit of time to get this going. But more than anything, let's go. And uh, since we've dropped, we've dropped the load work on them to kind of clear this out and get this prepared, we're gonna go ahead and go up to the well project and let you guys kind of see uh, firsthand what it looks like to be on the ground up there with the water ready to go. They did turn the water on already and we're gonna go ahead and just drive, take a quick drive up there. Might spend a little bit more than um, a couple hours up there and just kind of like go to each person and see how their water is doing. So stay tuned, let's go.